Here you can see that I got a weekly calendar and let's say I want to add in an appointment or a multi-day event. So in order to add in an appointment, you can see on the left there's a shape called appointments. And I can simply click and drag it on to any of the uh, day I want. So I'm going to leave it here in January 2. And over here you can see that I can set the start and end time. So let's say I'm going to set the start time right over here. I'm going to click this 8 and then increase the time right here. Let's say uh, the start time is 12 p.m. Let's say 12.15. I'm just going to type it to be exact. And it's going to la last till 12.45, let's say, for example, 12.45 p.m. right here. Subject is going to be important meeting right here. And location is going to be meeting room in the main building, for example. All right. So that is going to be uh, this time. And the time format is going to be uh, a.m. and p.m. itself. I can just also display the numbers as it is. So the date, I'm not going to change it. You can also change the date according to uh, the meeting that you want to set. But as I drag the shape onto the uh, exact day itself, I don't need to change the date. So I'm going to press OK and you can see that the important meeting is actually displayed right here. Uh, similarly, you can also have an, a multiple day event. So I'm just going to drag the multiple day event from Saturday to Sunday right here. So let me just drag it over here. And this is going to be from start date to end date, that is Saturday to Sunday right here. You can also expand the day right here. I'm going to, let's say, for example, last it into three days. So let's say Saturday uh, to Monday. So the subject is going to be carnival, let's say, for example, and location is going to be um, the football ground, for example. All right, so location is going to be the football ground let's press ok and you can see that the carnival actually gets displayed right here if you want to rearrange the dates and so forth you can simply click and drag the timeline right here you can see that this appears press ok and that's it drag it on the left that's it squeeze it down now it's down into two days so that is how you can work with appointments and multi-day events inside of microsoft visio hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe